Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I got the ChatGPT file uploader extension to read Microsoft Word files and PDF files. I know a number of you have been requesting this in the comments, so I figured I'd make a video to walk you through the process. So before we begin, we're going to need two separate libraries to make this work with our plugin. We're going to need the mammoth.js library, and that's going to help us read Office files. And we're also going to need the pdf.js library, and that would of course help us read the PDF files. I will have the files for the libraries and the prompt in the description below. So let's take a look at what we have on our folder. So we have a Word file and a PDF file. Um, I saved a random article that I found online and saved it into both of these. So they're both the same exact article. So that was our Word file and this is our PDF file. Okay, so let's close that and now let's take a look at the prompt that we'll be using. So you should find the prompt in the description and it will read, this is the content.js code. I would like the script to read PDF files as well. I will be using the pdf.min.js library and the files will be in the root of the directory. Be sure to use this code snippet and then we provide it with some code to use and then we ask it to update the code. And then finally, we provide it with a similar code snippet from the previous video. So before we put in that prompt, let's just take the content.js code from the prompt and let's paste it into our browser here just to give it a test and see what happens when we try to use a PDF or a Word document. So let's right click, click on inspect and let's go to the console, paste that in there and hit enter. So there is our button. Let's select a Word document. Um, and you can see here that we're getting errors. The same here with the PDF. Yep, and there goes the errors. So now let's just refresh the page so we can clear all that out. And now let's take our prompt and paste it in. So it looks like ChatGPT failed to give us the code in this section here. So we're just going to hit regenerate response. Okay, so it looks like it has completed. And so now we're gonna submit this prompt. Can you provide a manifest for this? I will not be needing a pop-up that HTML since the script is just adding a button to, and then we're just adding the OpenAI website. And then you type in, please be sure to include the pdf.worker.min.js and the pdf.min.js in the content script section. So all that's just saying is that to make sure you include these libraries in the manifest so that when the content script runs, it knows to just refer to those files. Okay, so now let's go save our files. Going to save this as content.js. And now let's save our manifest file. And now Let's head over to Visual Studio and let's just take a look at our content.js file. Make sure that looks fine. That looks good. And our manifest file here. So in order for a Chrome plugin to work properly, we need a manifest.json file and whatever our code script file will be, right? In our case, it's content.js. So you can think of the manifest file as the head of operations or the boss. Right, so the boss will gather everyone into the room and it would account for every one of them. And in this case, it's like the content.js script or any other script you may have. So in our case, when someone clicks on the button and uploads a PDF file or a document file, uh, the content.js file gets ran. And then it says, hey, I don't know how to handle this. And it goes right back to the manifest. The manifest is going to say, hey, well, you know, you can use these libraries to accomplish your task. And so that's how they will go about communicating with each other while the manifest is more of the director of the whole thing. I hope that makes sense. 
So we can see in the manifest that it's asking for an icon.png and we don't have that here listed on our in our project files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename one of our files to icon.png and also change it from 48 to 128. And all that's doing is just changing the size of the image you would see in the Chrome extensions page. Okay, so you can also see here in the, under content script that is referencing the libraries that we have in our folder. Um, so we're good to go. So now let's just save the file and let's head over to Chrome. So now let's head over to our Chrome's extensions page. Now let's click on load unpacked. Now let's load our folder. And it looks like we have an error. It's still looking for the icon.png. Uh, it seems like I have a typo here, so I'm just going to fix it. Uh, I forgot the period, icon.png. And now let's hit retry. Okay, there goes our Chrome plugin. So now let's go back and refresh the page. And so now there's our button. Let's click on it. And now we can see the PDF shows here. So now let's click on that and hit open. Okay, so now it looks like it's working. So now we have PDFs being inserted into ChatGPT. Okay, so now that that's working, let's start a new chat and let's type, like the script to read word files as well. I will be using the mammoth.browser.min.js library and the files will be in the root of the directory. Be sure to use this code snippet and then we provide the code snippet. And now let's head over to our content.js script. Let's copy all the code and let's paste it in. Okay, so it looks like it has completed. Let's all write the content.js file. Let's head back over to content.js and just to check to see if everything's working fine. Looks like we have an error, so I'm gonna close this and reopen it. Um, I see content.js here should have been commented out, but I guess it wasn't, so I'm just gonna remove it. And let's just save the file. And, and also let's check out the manifest.json file. Um, we can ask ChatGPT to provide us with an updated version of this, but I can just type in the library here. So let's do that now. Okay, now let's save the file. And uh, oh, so it looks like I forgot to import the library. So I'm just gonna go grab that from one of our folders. Okay, so I'm just going to paste in the mammoth library file into our folder. Okay, so now let's go back into our Chrome plugin web page. And we're going to hit this refresh icon so I can load all the files in. Now I'm just going to check to see if there's any errors. It looks good. Now let's go back into ChatGPT, right click, let's hit reload. Um, let's wait for our plugin to pop up. There it is. So now let's click on submit file. And now we see Word documents pop up. Let's click on it and open it. Um, I don't see anything, so let's right click, select inspect. It looks like we have a bunch of errors here. So um, let's copy all of these errors and submit it into ChatGPT and let's see what we get. So it looks like ChatGPT did not provide us with any code. It just told us that the library had an issue handling the provided file correctly to also double check that the path for the library is correct. And it looks like it also states to make sure that in the manifest file, it has the proper permissions, which it does. So let's try another approach. I'm going to type in, this is what I have. Can you update the script? And then I'm going to just copy and paste the content.js file it provided us earlier.
Okay, so it looks like it has completed. Let's override content.js. Um, so let's go back to the extensions page. Let's reload the extension. Go back to ChatGPT. Let's refresh the website. And let's start a new chat. Okay, so our button has loaded. So now let's click on submit file. And let's select our Word document. And there you have it. You can now feed ChatGPT, Word documents, and PDF files. And if you're following along, but you're not getting the same results I'm getting, just start with a new chat. You can imagine ChatGPT to be like a representative from a company. Uh, when you call in for help, you might get a representative that might go above and beyond to help you. And in another chat session, you might just get someone that doesn't want to help and just wants to get off the phone, right? So just keep trying and you'll get it. I will also be updating the ChatGPT file uploader plugin with these new features. And this plugin will also be available for Firefox users. If you would like to support my channel and the work that I do, you can PayPal me at paypal.me forward slash automate my life. And of course, if you like this content, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.